Hi everyone, this week is Parshat by Midbar. We're starting a new book and we ch- turn to chapter 3, verses 1 and 2, where we're learning about the generations of Aaron and Moshe, the Elitoldos, Aaron, the Moshe. And in verse number 2, it says, The Elishemos b'nei Aaron, Habachor Nadava, Avihu, Alazavi, Samar. Great, where are the names of Moshe's children? So Rashi tells us, based on a Gemara in Ervin and Sanhedrin, that when we teach someone else's children Torah, it's as if we have given birth to them. They're considered our spiritual offsprings. The Chavetz Chaim teaches us, based on the Tana de Bey Eliyahu, that just as we are required to clothe the naked, those who do not have clothing, that we are required to give them clothing, so too, if there is a person who is naked of Torah, God forbid, it is our job to teach them Torah and mitzvot. And regardless of whatever level we are at, we can teach someone Shema, we can teach someone to do tzedakah, we can inspire them and show them the beauty of Torah. That is our responsibility, according to the Chavitz Chaim. So I get a telephone call from Sister Clara. That's right, Sister Clara is my neighbor. She runs an archdiocese B Airbnb for women. I don't know more about it than that. And she calls me up and she tells me, Rabbi, I have a Jewish woman here who would like to meet a rabbi. She's from Bonus Eris and she's Jewish. I say, okay. She asked me how my Spanish is. I said, it's non-existent. She said, okay, I'll be the interpreter. In the meantime, I called one of my dear friends who speaks Spanish and she met me at the Airbnb and I met this nice lady from Bonus Eris. her name is Marta and she is uh, 78 years old and she comes to visit New York and I'm not exactly sure why, how often she comes, but she says it's inexpensive to stay at these uh, archdiocese sponsored Airbnbs and they're not that expensive and she's comfortable here. Okay, I ask her about her background. She tells me her family's from Europe and we, we go through, we play Jewish geography somewhat. She tells me that she keeps and she tries to observe the best she can or she goes to synagogue for the holidays, for Pesach and for Sukkot, etc. Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. Okay. So I offered her, I said, look, if you want, you could stay in my house. I have a nice basement apartment. You could just stay in the bedroom and we have a bedroom and a bath. And she said, no, I'm comfortable here. I said, okay. And I'm trying to think to myself, what is my responsibility here? So I say, you know, would you like to join us for Shabbat meals? So she said, yes, I'd love that very much. And then she started to say to me, why are you doing this for me? You don't know me. And I said, look, we're family, familia, that word I know. And she started to cry and she called her husband and she told me that her husband has nothing to do with religion, that unfortunately they've lost a child and I don't know when and I don't know the story, but she couldn't get over it. And she said, no, I'll stay here. So she's coming for Shabbat meals. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. Uh, maybe I'll share that with you with the next video. I don't know how that's gonna go. In the meantime, I'm also asked if she'd like to visit a day school, yeshiva day school. She goes, I would love that. So I'm going to take her on a little tour of SAR Academy and SAR High School. And I'm hoping that will inspire her, that will lift her up, that will awaken that pintle yid inside of her. I don't know how the story is going to end, but I understand from this parsha that we have the responsibility to teach other people who might not have a Jewish education, who have not had the privilege of growing up in a, uh, in a yeshiva or in a day school. Those that are naked of mitzvot, the Chavetz Chaim tells us it's incumbent upon us to make sure that we share whatever we can share. As we get ready for Shavuot, the giving of the Torah, we are to be unified. And this is how we unify ourselves through Torah. Torah is the great unifier. Thank you all for listening. I hope I've inspired you. And I'd love to hear your stories as well of you teaching and clothing those with spiritual mitzvot. And hopefully I'll share a little bit more. Wish me luck, everybody. Shabbat Shalom.